What's going on YouTube? So fashionable and affordable are two words that don't usually mix when we're talking about new cars. But occasionally they do. And we're with the Buick Invista with a sloping roof design and a starting price of just $23,000. So is this the fashion forward small SUV that you should buy? Let's go ahead and find out. Let's get things started here under the hood. Now, even though it doesn't look like it, this Invista does share its foundation with the Chevy Trax, and it also shares its powertrain. So it has a 1.2 liter turbocharged three cylinder engine, making 137 horsepower and 162 pound feet of torque. It's paired to a six speed automatic transmission. And the big news is that it is front wheel drive only. If you want all wheel drive, you will have to go for the Buick Encore GX model. So do keep that in mind. As far as the fuel economy is concerned, we're sitting at 30 miles a gallon combined. But even more important than what's under the hood is really the style of this new Invista model. So let's close up the hood and get into that. So the all new Invista is basically the replacement of the previous regular Encore, a vehicle with the proportions of a bowling ball. So thankfully this Invista is going a totally different route. And you're gonna see that, especially as we go to the side and the back. But let's talk about the front, which is also quite stylish. So this has Buick's new design language. This is inspired by their Wildcat concept. And as you can see, those elements are gonna be here on the Invista, including the new trapezoidal shape grille. This is gonna have a few different finishes depending on which trim level you choose. Base models are gonna have chrome strips that run across here. Here on the Avenir, we have a smoked chrome finish through the center and the Sport Touring has a dark finish. We also, of course, have the updated logo, which is kind of fang-shaped now. Also part of the new design language is gonna be brand new headlights. So you have standard LEDs on all models, which is very nice at this price point. It's gonna be separated into two pieces. So the top part is gonna be your turn signal and daytime running light. And then the headlight itself is gonna be down here in this separate housing. As you can see, we do have the projector LED here with the Avenir. Now, if grandma sees the rear of this Invista, she might think she needs new bifocals because this certainly is not <laughs> the Buick of old times. <laughs> no, I mean, I really like the way this Invista looks here in person. You know, the photos, I was curious to see it in person, but seeing it here, I really like the way it looks. They pull off the coupe SUV design really well. Drew's going to go ahead and hop inside and see if all of our taillight elements are LED. So we do have an incandescent uh, brake light, turn signal, and reverse light. So I'm going to be honest, guys, this is an area I'm very disappointed about with this new Invista is the lighting here in the rear. Uh, we do get LED accented taillights on the ST and Avenir trim levels, um, but I don't really know why they didn't use this part as the brake light and turn signal. Instead, they went with this down here. It's kind of an odd look to it, and I also really don't like that it's not LED, especially when this part is LED. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Now, dropping down to the lower area, all of this is going to be finished in a nice body color. Uh, no exposed exhaust outlets, even though it does have a pretty sporty design, but it does look very premium. Let us know what you think about this in Vista in the comments down below. And before we go any further, I do want to point out, know your glasses aren't dirty. No, our lens on our camera is not dirty. Uh, we're actually fighting the Canadian wildfire smoke up here in Detroit. That's why it looks so hazy today. We're risking our lives for you guys to show you this new Invista. Just kidding. Anyways, let's talk about the wheels. So you have 17 inch alloys, 18 inch alloys, and then you go up to 19 inch alloys with this top in Avenir model. As you can see, nice look to these. We got the multi spoke and a nice satin chrome finish. Of course, you do have special Avenir branding. And in terms of your mirrors, you have actually a lot of available features for these. So as you can see, we've got the turn signal indicator. Heating is available as well as blind spot monitoring. And we even have driver's side auto dimming. 
Now that we're at the side of the Invista, there is a lot to talk about here. We're looking at an overall length of 182.6 inches. And why is that important? Well, it's really important because it allows you to have that sleek, sloped off roof design and still have a lot of space, as you'll see as we head into the interior of this vehicle. As a matter of fact, this is 11 inches longer than an Encore GX and really longer than anything else in the entire segment. So this is a pretty large vehicle. And as far as some of the other design touches besides just the sloping off roof design, we do have chrome on the upper part, sweeps off into the rear design. We do also have body color, uh, lower moldings for this Avenir model. But let's talk safety. Wow. You're gonna have three out of your four active ones as standard equipment. And then further, you can option on adaptive cruise control. But guys, that's where we're gonna wrap up the exterior of this stylish Vista. And if you're new here, we're brothers and we've been reviewing cars since we were 12 and 16. We may be young, but we love cars. <laughs> and we'd love for you to subscribe to be a part of our Car Confections family. Let's learn a lot, have some fun with all the latest cars. Now let's go ahead and check out the interior. First, we'll go ahead and take a look at the key fob though. As you can see, typical Buick key fob, we do have the smart entry system as well as remote start. And to climb inside, you're just gonna press the chrome button there and that will unlock the door. And welcome inside the cabin. I think you're gonna find a lot that really impresses you, especially when you consider the price tag of this vehicle. But before we get into all the details, I wanna start off with your material and color options. So let's talk about the uh, Sport Touring model first. That does have a leatherette seat, black with blue accents on that one. Here on the Avenir though, we have the leather seats, really nice looking seats. As you can see, lots of contrast stitching and piping and a really interesting design got the piping going down the side as well as Avenir in the headrest feels really nice and your choices are going to be ebony or a gideon gray which is what we have on today's model also with the Avenir, you're going to have the eight-way power adjusting seat with two-way lumbar support but now we'll go ahead and climb inside and look at the rest of the materials now heading on to the door trim here as you can see we've got a nice leatherette material with a cool texture to it again with the stitching detail top part of the door trim is going to be hard touch and then we've got this silver trim running through there all four of your windows are going to be one touch auto down by the way as we move to the upper dash i'm very impressed to see this full leatherette covering all through this area nice texture to this again soft with the stitching detail and of course your lower areas are going to be hard touch but we still have more piano black as well as the silver trim to accent around the shifter Overall, this is a very classy looking cabin. And like I said, really quite impressive for this price point. And we'll go ahead and fire it up with the push button start. And now let's go ahead and move in closer and take a look at all the details. We might as well go ahead and start right from the beginning with this dual display setup because this is really a huge tech feature that I think is really gonna to appeal to young buyers. And we'll take a look first at our gauge cluster here. So this section is going to be an eight inch display. It is a digital reconfigurable gauge cluster and it is standard on every single version of the Invista. And then as we pull back to the steering wheel, we do have a new design. Of course, we have the updated Buick logo. We also have a nice flat bottom look and it is going to be leather out with the stitching detail. The wheel itself is manual tilt and telescoping. And then we also have steering wheel heating here, standard on the Avenir. And now let's go ahead and check out the storage next. So as a small SUV, do we have plenty of storage? Actually we do. So the center console here is um, kind of skinny, but it's really deep. And as such, our coupons, you know, we have to do it, test it out. Look at that, those fit in there no problem whatsoever. Some in this segment do struggle with this. So I'm happy the Invista aces that test. It also has another nice large storage area in front of that, two cup holders, and then the very front, you've got a nice convenient place to slide your phone. This is also gonna be an available wireless phone charging pad. And then you have your two traditional USBs as well as a 12 volt outlet. Now pulling back to the shifter, we have a nice silver accented traditional one. Pull back for drive, of course. You can use these little toggles to control the manual shifting. 
And then we go into reverse, you're gonna be greeted with this standard backup camera. As you can see, we do have active trajectory. Resolution is decent on board. Um, one thing I do wanna point out is if you want a 360 camera, you're gonna to have to choose the Encore GX, the sibling to this Invista, because it's not available on the Invista model. And then back behind the shifter, you have your electronic parking brake. Now as we move up the dashboard, the next place we come to is our panel of climate controls. This is gonna be a single zone automatic setup standard on all models. You have these nice toggles to adjust your temperature up and down. You have some additional controls above it. Additionally, with the Avenir, you're gonna have standard three-stage heated seats. They are available on lower models as well. And let's rise on up here to our volume knob. So with the Invista, we've got the six speaker sound system and we'll give it a sample right now. Overall sound quality of this system is quite good. It certainly fills up the cabin just fine and has plenty of bass. All right, so now it's time to dig into the second part of this dual screen arrangement. That's gonna be the main infotainment screen. So this is a 11 inch touchscreen. It is also standard, just like the eight inch display. So certainly very impressive for this segment, which usually includes much smaller displays. This is also running the latest software. This is gonna be an Android automotive based system. So you have some built-in capabilities, including wireless Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay. That's a big feature for a lot of you guys. And then the overall performance of the system is gonna be nice and snappy. The graphics are good and the resolution is also excellent. And then wrapping up the front of the cabin, here at the Avenir, we've got the auto dimming mirror. And you will ha also have a available standard size sunroof at the top. Well guys, I'm very happy to be in the Invista's rear seat for a variety of reasons. But first of all, I wanna talk about the space because typically in this segment of vehicle, the things are just really bad, especially in the rear seats. It gets really tight and cramped. And because we are so much longer than so many of the rivals, we're gonna have that additional space transferred into our rear seat area. So as far as the legroom, 38.7 inches of legroom, 37.3 inches of headroom. Now, let's compare that to the Buick Encore GX. It's about an inch less headroom, as you would expect. We have that sloping roof design, but we're gonna have more leg room, um, actually 2.7 inches more leg room, which is really, really impressive. And as you can see, I'm five foot nine. This seat is adjusted to Drew, who's five foot eight, and I did bring my flex ruler all the way up to Detroit. We're looking at over eight inches, about eight and a half inches of space between my knees and the seat back. Also, I can easily slide my feet up underneath the seat. So this is a really, really comfortable place to spend time. Now, the rear seats do not uh, recline, so do keep that in mind. This is gonna be their only position, um, but I do find the seats themselves to be very comfortable. As far as here in the center, we have a USB-A, a, a USB-C port. No vents, but we do have a little storage cubby right here. Uh, no household outlet or anything like that. No heated rear seats are available. You don't expect that for this price point. We do have a center armrest, though, with two cup holders inside. And then let's turn to the door trim. This door trim is going to be one of the cheaper elements where they had to save some costs because it's going to be hard uh touch all through this middle part. We do have a interesting texture here in the middle as well as a leatherette pad down on the armrest portion. Additionally, we do have bottle storage in the very bottom. Now walking up to the tailgate on the Invista, we do actually have a power one that's gonna be included on this Avenir trim level. So you do get that nice premium element. That's something that you don't see uh, as even offered on something like the Chevy Trax. Now, as far as the space itself is concerned back here, this is gonna be the area where you start to see some sacrifices for that design. We're sitting at 21 cubic feet of cargo capacity behind the second row seats. And as a maximum, we're looking at 42 cubic feet of cargo capacity. Now, if you're curious as to how that compares, um, that's actually going to be about 12 cubic foot less than what you get on the Chevy 
track so it is going to be less space because of that sloping roof design but pros and cons you get the design you have a little less space on the inside. I think a lot of people will be willing to make that sacrifice. Now, as far as some of the features back here, we do have a cargo cover up top. If we lift up the floor, we have a spare tire underneath of there. We have a few storage cubbies here on the left side, some lighting. The seats themselves do fold 60-40 uh, split. So once I detach this cargo cover, I can just reach up there, fold them down. It's a little bit more difficult in this in Vista because it's a longer vehicle overall but rest assured I did bring my tape measure to Detroit so we can measure how far from the back of the seat back to the rear of the cargo area and we are sitting at 72 inches or otherwise known as six foot of space uh, as far as the length is concerned do keep in mind the roof is a little low so that could impact your cargo capacity and as far as the width we're looking at 39 inches of width so um, you should be able to fit an average adult bicycle in this but you're not going to be able to stand it straight up you'll have to turn it sideways and price this is single-handedly the most important aspect about this in Vista. You've seen the outside, you've seen the inside. Is it actually going to be an affordable SUV? And the answer to that is yes. You heard me at the introduction. This thing starts at $23,495. That includes destination as well. The Sport Touring's $25,195 and the Avenir is $26,000. 695 that is actually less expensive than the current encore model so this is going to be super affordable for those of you looking for an suv uh, pretty much fully loaded you're looking at about twenty eight thousand dollars for this buick and vista so i have zero complaints when it comes to the pricing and we cannot wait to show you what this Invista is like behind the wheel, but we can't show you just yet because there is a driving impressions embargo on this all new 24 Invista. And we want to honor Buick as well as our fellow journalists by waiting to show you the driving impressions until July 11th. It's a Tuesday at 9 a.m. So go ahead and mark your calendars. Tuesday, July 11th, we will have the driving impressions of this all new Buick Invista on the channel. But guys, that's where we're going to wrap up this in-depth review of this Invista. If you enjoyed watching this, please hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. By hitting that subscribe button, you join this Car Confections family. That's reason number one. And number two, you help give us access to vehicles like this, where we can be invited to a first drive program and get access to some of the newest cars on the market first. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. We additionally have that website, carconfections.com, as well as other social media outlets, including Instagram and TikTok that you'll want to check out. We'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.